Joined by UMass Boston head coach Jake Beverlin after the Beacons' first ever playoff win, a 1-0 victory. Jake Lanier Lima, a player who has great talent but hasn't scored a lot this season with the game-winning goal. Uh, what did you see on that play, and were you surprised at all to see a huge play from Lima? I thought he'd been playing okay and been fairly dangerous. Uh, he, had, he had won about a couple minutes before that was probably the same thing. He just didn't finish. Uh, kind of happened again, and it was just fortunate he put it in the back of the net. Your team dominated the chances over the past 25 minutes of the game. A couple shots just high. Luis Matos dinging the crossbar. At what point did you think you were going to break through? Uh, it seemed like we were going to break through pretty early on, but we did, we had a bunch of chances. We just we were not finishing on them on the day, um, and it was kind of getting a little worrisome a little late because we had so many chances that we just weren't finishing, and that hasn't happened really all year. Um, but kind of stuck with it, and uh, we got it, and we won one nothing. So that's good. Alfonso Rosales didn't see a ton of action, but he did have a big save in the 50th minute against Emmanuel Asadu. What can you say about your junior goalie? Uh, that was, you know, you're sitting on the sidelines and you're going, oh, you know, and then uh, came up with the big save. He hasn't had to do a ton of work this year because we've had the ball and, and we just haven't really had to defend too much. But he's the times he's been called on, he's been absolutely outstanding. I know people kind of look at him and he, he's a little on the shorter side, but he does so well for himself. And um, he, he that, that save today was outstanding. This is just your second season, your first playoff win, the first playoff win for this program. Obviously, you can't relish in it too much with the big game on Saturday, but what does it mean to come in and really turn around a program this fast, picking up a, a victory for a program that hasn't had it in over 20 years? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it too much right now. It just It's, it's kind of new and fresh with me. Uh, I'm sure maybe after the season it'll, it'll resonate a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Um, but I think it's for this team. I think we expected to be here, and it's just kind of we've, we've took, taken care of business basically on a daily basis every day, and um, this is where we expected to be, and glad to be here. Quick turnaround. You take on the winner of Keene State and East Con, that game going on right now. Obviously, you have ton, a little bit of time to prep for that game, but what do you need to do on Saturday to hoist the title? Uh, we'll have to figure out who we're playing first, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. The Beacons with their first ever playoff victory, 1-0 over fourth-seeded Rhode Island College.